Hello? There is something I have learned about problems. You cannot escape problems. If you are all bad, you can't escape problems. If you are all good, you can't escape problems. Some people may think it is a good idea to do wrong in the effort of trying to escape a problem. They may believe, well, I can get out of this problem if I lie a lot. I can get out of this problem if I steal a lot. I can get out of this problem if I blame someone for something that I did. Let me tell you, you may escape that particular problem, but another problem may arise because of what you did in the prior problem. Please listen to what I am saying. Let me make myself as the example. I am in a problem now. There are some actions that I can do now, but it would be wrong. Let me, let's say I am in some problems. By doing something wrong, I may, in a sense, kind of escape a problem, but because of how I conducted myself, new problems may arise. For the problems I am in now, let's say I totally conduct myself well, and let's say I overcome those problems. Guess what? New problems are going to occur. Do you understand what I am saying? You may believe by doing evil, you can escape problems. For one, no one can escape problems. We are always going to have problems. So the problem that you are in, it is in your best interest to do what is right. Even though, even if you do what is right, I believe new problems will come up. In this life, I believe we are on testing grounds. Please understand this. Stop seeing life as only life. Stop thinking of life as, you know, uh, it is time to get all rich and only pleasure and stuff like that. That is not what life is about. There is nothing wrong with being rich. Abraham was rich. I believe King David was rich. For sure, King Solomon was rich. Anyways, we are on testing grounds. We have to become more like Jesus Christ. And I believe a lot of our test may come in the form of problems. Are you understanding what I am saying to you? So if you pass the test, and you may say, Kevin, how do I pass the test? By being patient being honest, being humble, being loving, and probably some more things. Handle your problems in a biblical way. Even though you will have problems, I believe your life will become easier when you become obedient to God. Yes, some people may have to die for Jesus Christ. Yes, some people may get tormented for Jesus Christ. But all in all, I truly believe your life is easier when you live for Jesus Christ. It is more rewarding, if not on this side, for sure in heaven. What you should have your mind on as you go through these problems, do what is right. Am I saying you are going to be 100% perfect? You may not be, but try to do what is right. 
Stop trying to escape your problems by doing what is wrong. This reminds me of something that happened to me some years ago. I was in a very bad situation, very bad. But while I was going through that bad situation, or should I say situations, because within that problem, I think more than one problem came out of that too, if that makes any sense. But when I was going through that main problem, good things were happening also. God was blessing me still. Once I completed that main problem that I had some years ago, guess what? <laughs> New problems came along, yes. Yes. The problem I am in now is a new problem. I don't claim to know everything, but I believe the problem I am in now is for good purposes. Did you hear what I just said? I believe the problem, or should I say problems, but let me stick to the main problem. I believe the main problem I am in now is for good purposes. I believe it is for my benefit. I believe it is going to help me spiritually. So I am not going to despise the problem I am in now. I am not going to despise the person I have a problem with. Because I believe all of this, I believe all of this is working for my good. What do I have to do? I have to love people. I have to do what is right. I have to stay peaceful, patient, understanding. I have to love. I have to forgive. Everything is going to work out. Maybe for a person who doesn't know God, Maybe the problem that I am in may go wrong for that individual, if that makes any sense. I can make the problem I am in worse. If I were to turn my back on God and do whatever I wanted, the problem I am in probably can turn to a curse. But in a way, I believe it is a blessing. I believe it's not only helping me, but helping other people. One of the reasons I believe I am becoming a better person. I believe now I understand more things. Like, I believe I understand more things of people. The problem I am in is a blessing. So if I choose to do what is wrong, to try to escape the problem I am in, it may interfere with my lesson, my teaching lesson. I believe God is trying to teach me some things. I believe if I were to try to escape this problem in the wrong way, I mean in the wrong way, it would probably hurt me more than help me. The earth is not pleasure island. As it is now, it is not like a eternal vacationing spot, like a eternal spa or something like that. Yes, good things can come to us, but at this time, it is for us to be tested. It is for us to go through some things. By you trying to escape your problems by doing the wrong thing, I believe you are interfering with your lessons. I believe you are making things harder for yourself. You need to stop that. Stop it, please. You are looking at this world in the wrong way. You need your mind renewed. I believe we constantly need to learn better. I may not like my problems at first, I may not like my problems at the last, <laughs> but I believe in one way or another, my problems are helping me. 
if I make it to heaven and I pray that I do make it to heaven, God will probably show me how what I went through helped me. And I believe I can see it in some ways. Some people may be very angry with God because of what they endured in life. They may blame God for the bad times in their life. But when you stand before God, I believe things will come clear. I believe he will give you reasons why you went through this and went through that. I am trying to tell you. But I hope all of this makes sense. May God bless us.